Next up is uh, on Antergos. Mate is maybe your desire not to have uh, Compton and not to have Meta City, not to have Marco Compton or Meta City Compton, but go to Compass. That's possible too. So you go to your data, Antergos Mate, personal. I have here this install Compass version 1. Let's take a look. Maybe we can delete some stuff here as well. So, Compis Manjaro is the one that was uh, most successful in my trials, my endeavors. And I have seen that we do not need to install this package. We are on Pluma, which makes it more difficult for me. I want rather to open it with sublime text. I don't see it up top here. Where is sublime text? Here. So, yeah, open. Next time you'll download it, it will be this way that this element, and that's which element, will not be installed. The Compass Configuration Settings Manager will be already installed when you install this package from Manjaro. So, no need to have both of them. So one is enough. Um, you better do this before dinner or if you want a break because installing Compass can take quite a while. So what you do, you install Compass or you don't run these programs, these scripts, but all you have to know is it's written like this, Compass Manjaro, and then you go to here, right mouse click, Packer, Compass, Manjaro, no typos. There you have it. Number one or zero actually. And I say yes. Want a password? Do you want to build on that? Nope. Nope. Don't want to edit anything. And now I'm gonna save you some time. Control F and we're gonna wait for everything to install. It's gonna take quite a while. While we have to wait, let's have some fun. We have here, in the meantime, I've deleted the red uh, shadow around our uh, system here, which is, let's take a look. What are we still looking at? A Metacity Compton GPU. We could have a Marco, we installed the Metacity, and we have a specific file for that. It was a red shadow, it's not red anymore. And what do I call fun? Well, we have here this conky with this wallpaper. That's nice. It's all white and black. We could maybe <coughs> figure out if there is a better conky to fit this uh, scheme here, this color scheme. And we have a conky gray. So we're actually looking at a conky orange. And let's rename this one and the conky gray. Let's call that one just conky. Uh, let's keep it open. Right mouse click. Kill all conky. And start conky again. Nah, that's better. So in the meantime, we see also the possibilities. And when you open a new window, a uh, new window, you see that uh, elements are going to be dimmed or un un uh, unfocused. But not with the same program as you see these programs are the same so if you take for instance sublime text and that's a smaller like so if you click here then sublime text will be transparent so that's all the effect of compton that's what's in our configuration file which is situ situated here depending if you're the marco windows manager or the meta city Windows Manager. So, voila, we've had some fun. This is our new look. We've chosen a different kind of uh, desktop icon here. Let's take a look what it's called. Appearance, customize. It's called Sardimono Papyrus Colora. Meaning we can change it from color as well. If you say, I don't like it. Let's have some more fun. Let's see 
where are we at? So you see building compass takes very long, 32%. Let's do some fun stuff here. Sardi, Mono, Papyrus, Colora. Sardi, Mono. Here are scripts. So Sardi, Mono, Papyrus, Colora, Havelock, which is blue. So we can change to any color we like. So change colors is in sight. Only thing you have to know is change color to what? What color do I want? So that's up to you to decide what we take. Um, but um, we'll figure that out together. Okay. If we open here a folder, we have here these folders and they're talking about new color top, new color body, new color icons. I see three elements. I see the icon on a plus and a copy icon, a cloud icon and so on. The body is the, this thing in front and the top is this little small thing here. So if we want to change the colors from these elements, we should uh, change the codes here and run it again. That's all we need to do. But first we need to have an idea. We need to, to do something. We have to be creative. Let's take a look. Compass, 34%. I rather like uh, uh, GPIC to help me with this. Let's see if we can install it with Pac-Man. Okay, it's installed. GPIC is a program I like and all you have to do is click on one of these numbers hover over the colors you want and then press spacebar to sample color under the mouse pointer so I just go ahead like crazy and these are all the blacks that we came across or the grays that we came across so these are all color codes from the drawing now we can go and be creative and say, okay, compass 36%. Now we can go and see what we can do. Depends how you want to work. You can go at random, meaning trial and error. Or you can say, you know what? I can go and open, for instance, folder image. Right mouse click, open with, Inkscape. And then you can select and choose the colors here. You can open this here. This is color ABABAFF. So the color coding from here, let's put this one here. The color coding here can be changed through maybe better here and make it even darker gray or just the opposite, lighter gray. So now we have D1, 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 and we say, okay, I want the same, like this, close without saving, and or we can take any of these colors, B, C, B, C, B, C, D, E, D, E, D, E, and so on. So we should copy paste them somewhere. So <clears throat> first off, before you go and make something new, just make a copy, Control C, Control V, we have now a light gray, for instance. Ah, yeah. Normally I use names like this here, Gainsborough. Like, sounds like a nice, nice name, Gainsborough, like so. So Gainsborough is this color. Okay, copy, paste, done. You go inside here, change color, Control C, Control V. This is gonna be Sardi, Mono, Papyrus, Colora, Gainsborough. Okay, and then we're gonna copy paste our code inside, our color code. The body is the biggest part. We're gonna see if we can copy paste it. It always happens to me that I've lost it. So this one. 
and we're going to copy paste it in here like so and then we can run the program here sardimono run in terminal all the icons have been colored it's a little lighter gray now we activate it appearance we did forget one thing let's take care of that as well let's take care of that and it's gonna be called here index team and here as well gains borrow save that's that now we can go in here and customize it and take icon and close everything again and now take it again should be should be able to read it gains borrow here it is it's a small difference as you can see it's a little bit lighter but it's 60 million colors you can choose from and i've chosen now to use this kind of light gray so it's that easy to make a new icon theme and now i'm gonna leave compass to work finally compass has finished almost he wants to know my password in the meantime full screen mode and let's install it so sorry but I wanted to be creative and I changed the conkey here to gray and I've made a new kind of uh, Sardi icon theme so this one is called Gainsborough a little bit gray more grayish than normal more light gray and um, let's try and, and figure out compass together so let's first think what we did we went to May tweak we have gone here and we have still meta city content gpu compositor is active remember there is also a program in start startup applications also one not marco compton but the other one meta city compton is also active so we got, should get rid of this one and now we should have compass in here but compass is not as it seems in here so let's take a look at what the installation did control h is in here in the auto start something so these are two things the question is is compass going to exert itself it's going to add an extra line to it i'm go first going to log out even even reboot restart and see what is done what what we can see what we can find after we restart it this is black i have this arrow marker a strange marker don't like this one alt t alt t don't like this one t for trash variety is providing me with wallpapers and i trash until i think that's a suitable one for the tutorial so appearance what happened no we don't have any window borders as you can see so that's gone may tweak windows he's telling me something went wrong that's normal because we started we didn't start meta city compton so i'm gonna switch over now to compass keep this configuration manager and this is our compton it's not looking good but uh, we still have a lot of uh, work to do but this is transparent anyway this is isn't transparent the title is transparent when we unfocus it we see it even more even better okay so compass is now active we close this thing we go to windows we can't open it the current window manager is unsupported it's compass we have uh, 
other comp possibilities. Let's go to compis. We have in the meantime also the CCSM or Compis Configuration Settings Manager. Let's be sure, let's to tell you that this is dangerous. Compis Configuration Settings Manager can leave you with a desktop that's not working. So trying it out first in a virtual box does make sense, particularly talking about this um, Compis. The wobbly windows is the one we all recognize and this is what's called as wobbly windows. Yeah. The other one that people often show on YouTube is this one, 3D windows. You see we lost, we lost something here in the meantime. Rotate cube, desktop cube and with control alt tab. Nope, not working. So something went wrong, as you can see here on the top, no wallpapers, no, um, uh, how do you say that, the window borders are gone. Control Alt T, open in terminal, yeah, that's working. I'm gonna, I can't do anything anymore, it's, it's crashed again. Let's see if I can get in here. And let's go to something that's the stable. And we have now our Meta City content. Again, the window borders are here. You see, it's sometimes not that easy. What we can do is Control Alt T. There are other things that's, that are called Compass. And that's the Compass GTK Decorator Team Selector. So we should have that one as well. Compass. GTK this one we should tell them that we want our dark as theme here up here I say apply so that's one issue less we'll have this kind of uh, windows there now this is our settings I don't know what went wrong but we're gonna try it again keep this window manager so that we have now this kind of look still works we don't hang nothing crashes cpu usage see it go up see the spike here so it takes away some of the cpu power which is normal but all in all i've seen it work on very old machines as well so it's uh, quite uh, efficient and okay let's see if the desktop cube works but but did i check that desktop size is four and this is one. Now we can see if it's working. So this is what they call the cube. And the programs are in front, floating in front of it. You can change the white top to another color. I think it's somewhere in here, desktop cube. Now transparency is also interesting. So appearance, the top is white. Why not take, I don't know, something grayish and something grayish transparent cube sure let's take this and then we can see through it like so and we have our cube that's working and we're happy but what happens if we reboot okay what happens if we reboot Let's take a look. Okay, we have a nice wallpaper. That's nice. This is transparent. It's great. I'm taking my first program out and everything is wibbly wobbly, as we call it. I'm going to take my previous wallpaper again. The themes. This is not what I've chosen. I did not choose this as border. So we have to figure out how to change that. And let's see if we can change it again with our little program that we have here. Compass minus GTK decorator theme selector. Current theme is R dark, so it's already in order. So it's not here that we should be. 
okay where are we looking for what are we looking for we take this one as well compass we're gonna put this one in favorites it's now in here and let's see if we can change our borders down here somewhere we have something about borders window management uh, rule looking over it might be up here somewhere okay too long window no, still too much border nope. now stick with window dim and active opacity brown show widgets gt freely transferable nice uh, wobbly window is done title bar session management no grid don't see it at this point I'll see it maybe in a bit so um, what can we do more if we type in window it's this one we get we can't do anything here if we go to control center we don't have anything more to set here this is the one we need mate week we've done everything we can in mate week so compass if something goes wrong you can reset compass also a very good and interesting thing to do but we do not want to reset it now no nope. so my only point and let's spare some time i'm gonna figure out the border again what that was you know how it is only a few seconds later I found a solution it's simply in the appearance preferences you go back in here and like so so appearance and you go in customize we remember we were on our dark takao and the window border is this thing here here and it was set on arc dark takao you should change it back to the original version from uh, GitHub from Horst 2180 and then the latest uh, uh, configuration of Arc will be downloaded since all these Arc themes, the Colora themes, are themes that are made and created on some specific point in time. But of course, Horst is still continuing to improve the code. So we should go back for the window border to the Arc Dark, the original one from Horst. And then you see everything is set here and we can of course go into much detail there's a lot of things you can change but i've made articles about compass configuration setting on uh, other distros but it's the same it's the same system um, it's made okay but if you check out made compatibility it's just a shortcut here and a shortcut there so that's that's not not issue all the rest is yeah, experimenting and figuring out what you want or don't want and everything is explained on erotipwa.pe in other distros as well. So I've just changed these guys here, the, the desktop uh, look, everybody wants to show off this one. But um, there are others like Windows, uh, I'll write again, what is it again? Windows arrow up or alt, alt, that's it. Control, alt, arrow up and, and down, like so, to the left, to the right, with the arrow keys stuff like that unfold queue and uh, my advice is if you want to try out compass do it on a test pc do it on a virtual machine try it out and then when everything is successful then you export everything to a file and say okay this is my test file export everything and it says you want to skip the default options i suggest you say yes otherwise you have 600 lines and now you have only 100 lines or so so everything is everything is set and everything works then I suppose you'll find it here test profile and this is what I changed so not much the top color remember I made it light gray light gray and opacity I've changed that and 
probably will resize some of the elements I've changed. So that's it. Enjoy Compass, but be aware if you want to try it, it tends to break your system. Be ready for it uh, that, that it might happen. What we should check out now, because remember we we uh, said do we need anything here? And let's go over it. So Marco Compton is out of the question. It's gone. Meta City is gone as well. You don't see any compass at this point in time. So for compass, I did not add anything. And when rebooting, you saw me working in compass. So it does not seem to need it. If, however, you say I have a problem, uh, it doesn't work, then you do the following line. It always works. Um, sorry, compass and you can tell Compis to replace anything that's running at the time. So Compis replace is a command you can put in a terminal. And Compis, I don't know if this works. Nope. Then maybe this will work. And so here you have replace. Replace any existing window manager. This is an option that only works in Compass, doesn't work in Compton, but it works here. So that's good. So if anything goes wrong, if anything is not the way it's supposed to be, you just type in replace. So Compass is going to be replaced with Compass. Uh, let's see what does, what happens. Yeah, he place, replaces himself. <laughs> and that's that. And we have our Compass working. So enjoy uh, Compass and enjoy the dangers of uh, Compass as well. As you see, I've just stopped Compass. My window borders are gone. How to get it back? Compass and then this little sign, that one. And now we have everything working back again. All right, enjoy Compass on Antergos.